Hey everybody, this is FireGuard522 with my 7th tutorial, and this is Advanced Users part of the 7th tutorial. Basically, what I'm showing you is a auto-missile that uses mostly expression 2, except for a few things, which is a numpad, a thruster, and a vector thruster, and the prop. So besides that, it's mainly all expression 2. Okay, so basically this thing is going to consist of a custom-made target finder beacon sensor fused together, a GPS, and the missile expression itself. This is probably going to end up in two parts, <clears throat> the advanced two parts anyways, like part one advanced, part two advanced, that kind of crap. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's get our missile built. If you saw the normal users one, we made it out of this. Yeah, actually we used A1, A2. Okay, uh, so we used this, and we had a thruster on the back. Now there's only going to be one thing I'm going to add on here real quick. That's going to be a numpad input. That's going to go on the bottom. Okay, if you do not have expression 2, Go get the latest SVN of your wire mod. And again, this map will be on the description, of course. Okay, now I already have these pre-made, but I'm going to make them again. Just so you guys know what's right. Okay, let's start off with the GPS. Okay, so our name is going to be GPS. Now, you can save this for, like, whatever the hell you feel like. Outputs. X, Y, Z, and position vector. We're going to take out our... Oh. oh damn it. We're going to take out our presys. I'm going to color this red real quick. Uh, how do I do that? Okay. Now, our interval... That's going to be how fast this thing updates. And so if you want, like, one that updates almost instantly, you would type something like this. Now, we don't need a GPS that updates that much. So sh I'm going to use 5. It's still pretty fast. So it's like, it updates 5 times every second. Now, that's not as, nearly as fast as that, but you get the point. I'm going to assume to use 5. Okay. Position. Now this is going to be for the position vector, the POS vector. And this is going to basically get the position of the uh, expression 2. Now, POS equals entity. Uh, oh, not the star. And you're going to do that. And then colon, pose, the open and close parentheses. Okay. So we got that. Now let's actually get outputs of the X, Y, and Z. So X equals pose X, open and close parentheses, Y equals pose Y, open and close parentheses, Z equals pose colon Z, open and close parentheses. Okay, so here's your GPS. Uh, I already have one which is right there. So let's go ahead and you guys would normally, if I were you, I would have saved this so I can use it again later for whenever I need, but I already have one. And I'm going to use a, which is an expression model, I suppose. Oh, I like it big, so I'll just put it right there. Okay. Now, now that we have that, let's go ahead and actually get our target, our target finder. Uh, mixed in with the vegan sensor thing. So, new expression. Now, this is an ugly color. And it's moving for some reason. Okay. Red. There we go. I like this better. Okay. So, we got our name. Uh, you can name this whatever. Finder beacon. 
we're not going to have any inputs on this. This has no need for inputs. Our outputs. It's going to be target E entity. Now this is only for like if you want to add like this is like string values pretty much. So it's like you know how the original target finder has it has like an target one underscore entity. This is basically the same thing. Okay, dis is just distance. I'll put that. Pose x. Pose y. Pose z. And targ. Now this is. I say this is a beacon finder thing. A target finder beacon. It's like it finds the x, y, and z position of the target. I only have targ to like validate that it has a target. Okay, our preset is going to be x vector interval. That's going to be how fast it updates. Uh, remember the 0 0.01. If you want one that's like super fast, you do that. For this, I'm going to use 5, of course. Okay. Now, here's how we find by a model. I don't really know how to find another player yet, but I'm hoping I find out soon. Okay. Find by model. You put the parentheses, quotation. Now, since I already had that copied from the last one, I just pasted it. Okay. End quotation. And then put a end parentheses. Okay. Now, target E equals find result. If it's red, it's probably not going to work. Okay, so now this is going to... Our target E is going to be basically this model. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to 9. X equals entity N or open and parentheses pose open close parentheses okay now dist equals target e pose open close parentheses distance x okay so now it's now this is getting the the target e which is this model's distance from <clears throat> from the expression gate. So X is like the entity's position, the target E position distance, so it's like it just finds the how far away it is from the expression two pretty much. It's kinda hard to explain. Okay. Uh, we're, we don't have bearing on here. <laughs> I forgot. I was kind of doing this off a of memory of my old one, which I have bearing out an elevation on there. Okay. Uh, what else would we need? Oh, yeah. Pose equals target E pose. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Pose X equals pose X. Close parentheses. Since I'm lazy, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Okay, now Z, Y. You see what? This is how lazy I am. I actually go into expression two and modify it from copying and pasting things. Okay, so now this is how I get targ to get validated. And it's pretty simple, except it has one flaw. If there's, uh, let me just show you. Targ equals, uh, what was it I had? Pose x not equal to zero. Now there's only one flaw about this. If the position of target, of the position of the target is at x, and that x is at zero, then this is gonna screw up. But there's very, very slim chance that the target is actually gonna be directly at ten, or directly at zero. Tune in to part two of this advanced tutorial.